Hello, here we are with an unboxing and hands-on with the Rug Gear RG500. As the name implies, the RG500 is designed to be a little bit more rugged than most. And as the sticker on the front of the box indicates, it's IP68 rated and really designed for those uh, who need to use their phone a lot outdoors. This is the retail packaging. And on the back, we get a rundown of some of the key specifications. So Android version 4.2.1, a five megapixel rear camera with a 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4, dual SIM functionality, NFC. We've got the IP68 rating, which means it can go into water of a depth of two meters for up to 30 minutes. Mil spec 810G, so it's uh, tested against drops up to a height of two meters onto concrete can operate in temperatures from minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. G sensor for compass, barometer and altimeter. It's got a powerful LED torch and it's got a 3.2 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 320 by 480. So that's the main elements there. Let's actually unbox it and show you what you get. So black and yellow in color. This is perhaps not the most desirable looking handset. Uh, but it's not designed to take on the Samsung Galaxies or HTCs or Sonys of the world. This is for people who need something rugged and reliable in the field. So there's the device. We'll come back to uh, that in a moment, but you're probably thinking chunky and that it is. So within the packaging of the box, let's take this out and show you what you get. So we get a mains adapter brick with interchangeable heads so you connect the different heads there and you've got a USB port on the bottom for connecting the provided cable. Three pin UK mains adapter I mean that connects to the head and then you get a USB cable uh, micro USB cable there and a set of in-ear headphones 3.5 millimeter with inline microphone now whilst the charging head is interchangeable uh, you don't get provided with the interchangeable head only the UK one so if you need other parts of the world you will need to source that so also included in the box you get a rug gear sticker because everyone needs a rug gear sticker you've got the warranty cards you've got a screen protector included there as well and a quick start guide in color, which is quite nice to see. It's not very often you get a printed manual. And then we've got the battery, a cleaning cloth, and the little key for the battery compartment. So cleaning cloth there, your little key. So one end for unscrewing the back cover. The other end, you've got a little attachment that you can put on your keys, etc. And then you've got the battery, a 2060 milliamp hour battery, user removable as you can see. So let's show you the phone. Okay, so here is the handset itself. Now before we give you a tour of it, let's run through some of the other specifications. So it's an Android handset running version 4.2.2. Not likely to be upgraded to Lollipop or anything anytime soon because of the type of user that's gonna be using this. 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. There is a micro SD card slot in here. Four gig of internal storage. The touchscreen is 3.2 inches with a resolution of 320 by 480. And it's rugged glass. You've got 3G connectivity on here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi as well. It weighs in at 206 grams with the battery. So it's not uh, particularly light. And then of course, we've got the five megapixel camera on the back here. So let's start with the back. We've got the battery compartment where we'll enter or put in the battery using the provided key. And we've got that 2060 milliamp hour battery. There's also an LED flash here. You can see we've got a little kind of recess there where you can attach a lanyard or something to this device. On the top is where the antenna is. It's raised here, uh, but that's to help with antenna performance because of the chunky housing. We've got the power button. On the left side, we've got a function key here. Really grippy rubber sides to this device. On the bottom, we've got the USB and headphone jack here. Now, you do need nails to uh, open this up because it's designed to keep the IP rating. There we go. Headphone jack and micro USB connection for charging the device. And then on the right side, we've got another function button, the 
volume keys up and down, power button on the top there. On the front, the touchscreen display, physical buttons for home, menu and back, front facing camera, notification lights and earpiece. So let's pop the uh, battery in so you can see it powered on. So inside the handset, you've got the two SIM card slots, SIM 1, SIM 2, standard SIM cards. And you can see that SIM slot 1 offers 2G and 3G, whereas SIM slot 2 is 2G only. So if you want to use one SIM for data, you need to make sure that's in SIM slot 1. And then you've got the micro SD card slot and the battery sits in like so. And if we don't put the cover back on correctly, we won't have the IP rating on this device. So battery goes in, you tighten it up with the little tool and then we power it on. Okay, so with the device powered on, we have the uh, rather dated looking Android, but because of the commercial benefits and purposes of this device, um, it's what most people need. It needs to be functional rather than necessarily pretty. A lot of uh, companies have built specific apps to use on these devices, uh, you know, be it security personnel, sort of loan workers like medics, care assistants that can go out and use this device on the go. Now, it's not the most attractive handset as we've sort of uh, decided, um, but it's functional, it's really grippy. You could drop this, throw this, and it's gonna last. We've got the ability to use the uh, camera flash as a torch. We've got a quick access button here to the camera and we've got a five megapixel camera on the back. So we can actually take uh, pictures with this device and use it like most people would a smartphone. Use the physical buttons here so whether your hands are wet or everything, um, it will still run quite happily. The screen is a little bit resistive. We've got all the standard sort of settings here, the ability to schedule the power of the phone on and off, set the date and time add your various accounts. So you can add your Google, your corporate exchange and much more to this handset. Control the security, you've got location options, see the battery information, see how much storage you've got um, there. So it's split there 1.32 gig and 1.19. So about two and a half gig available to you out of the box for storage, but then you've got the micro SD card slot if you use it. You've got the different audio profiles that you can set. Um, this is quite loud as well. If I just put that up, which it is, I believe, to there you go. That's really quite loud. Um, you're going to hear that in most situations. There, you can control the ringtones, whether you've got touch sounds, vibrate, etc. So lots of different options. Uh, some of these features, such as the different audio profiles, kind of come up from more of the feature phone element that a lot of users um, in this field are used to. You can use the device in portrait or landscape mode. So see, we rotate it, comes back around there. So that's uh, an unboxing of the handset. We'll be covering this in a full review and giving you more examples of how you uh, could use this device. But until next time, thanks for watching.